Matt Busby came to sign me at Doncaster. He didn't come on his own because Matt Busby came with Jimmy Murphy. And uh, as would be the way in those days, it wasn't my house they came to. I had to go to the manager's house and I didn't realise till I got there what was going on. And eventually these two gentlemen turned up. And the great Peter Doherty, the man who, if I go to say, made me what I was. I think maybe a better word, people say he tamed me, which might be an exaggeration. Uh, he said, I remember ever so well, he said, the boy is ready to sign Matt. These are two senior men. And in fairness to Matt, Matt said, ho, 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 hold on a minute, Peter. I want to speak to the boy. And uh, he said, before we go any further, son, we don't pay any money. And for a second, I didn't really realize at that age what he was talking about. And he meant uh, the only thing they were paying was the fee. They weren't going to pay anything to me. And his words were, do you still want to join Manchester United? I couldn't get the pen out of his hand quick enough to sign the form because I was about to join what was known then, sadly, and what was then the finest pool of young players in the history of the game. So here today I'm with Alan Wardle who runs the association of former Manchester United players and Harry Gregg was one of our greatest goalkeepers, wasn't he? Absolutely. I mean, when you think back now, how great he was, Harry. Uh, we, obviously, we still got fine goalkeepers, but he was a bit special, Harry. He, uh, he had everything, really. We looked up to Harry, and he became a hero, and we do miss him. It was 10 days after the anniversary of the Munich air crash that we lost Harry Gregg, so he was very much in our minds when we lost him. But he wasn't just a great goalkeeper for Manchester United, he was also a hero after the crash, and he helped United get to the FA Cup final. But he also starred in that World Cup. He was the goalkeeper of the tournament, wasn't he? 1958. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. When you think of what he'd been through, I think it was played in Sweden. And he was obviously the goalkeeper of, uh, what do we call it, the world, wasn't he, really? Um, when you think of what he'd been through and how he did it. Um, but he was... It was a gentleman inside. It was interesting to, to know him. Um, if something was done wrong, he would tell you that he'd done it wrong in no uncertain terms. But uh, he certainly, I wasn't the only person, but he helped a lot of the younger lads come through. And uh, it's now two years and uh, God bless him. Uh, rest in peace. We miss you. We've lost quite a few of our old heroes over the last couple of years. And it was nice that you had this special dinner in November where you got to remember a lot of these guys? It was an idea that Jim Elms and myself came up with and uh, we obviously discussed it uh, with Richard Arnold, who was very helpful. Uh, so what we did, we started inviting relatives to Manchester United, those that came from afar. We put them up in hotel football and it was the first time we've done it and it was a hell of a success. The letters that we got from uh, the relatives that came to the dinner and we will be doing it again in November this year to keep it going. It was the first time we thought about it, and we'll carry it through now. It was a success for us. It's great to see the amazing work that you do as an association with the former players, and you raise so much money for charity. But I'd just like to mention people who've never been to one of your dinners, there is an opportunity for them to come, isn't there? Anybody who wants to come can come. If they get in touch uh, with ourselves, Jim Elms, Alan Wardle, anything through the club, uh, you're more than welcome to come. Um, we have good dinners, we have good speakers, and uh, this year uh, we're honouring Wolf McGuinness. And that's what we tend to do, is to try and honour players that have played for the club, or managers that have managed the club, and we'll continue to do that. And of course, again, we've got the golf dinner, and then we've got the big one coming off. We believe it's the big one now, because we started it last year is the one in November where relatives are invited for the players that are no longer with us. Excellent. So if you want to come along to one of the Association of Former Players dinners, look out for the details. We'll put them in the description below and hopefully we'll see you at a future event. Fantastic.
Matt and Jimmy decided to make some changes and one of the changes was to bring a new goalkeeper in and they brought Harry Gregg in from uh, Doncaster Rovers. Now Harry was already a legend when he arrived here for a world record fee for a goalkeeper and I saw Harry's second game for United which was on Christmas Day 1957.